our pets are our family, so we want to make sure they're just as happy and healthy as we are, right? Well, earlier I spoke with Lindsay Landecker, Director of Community Partnerships at the Jacksonville Humane Society, and she shares ways we can protect our pets, of course, with the help of her furry friend, Lucy. So Lucy is a dog who is heartworm positive and April is Heartworm Awareness Month. So all month long, we are talking about heartworm, um, how to prevent it, how it's treated and how you can help dogs in need. So at the Jacksonville Humane Society, we wanna make sure that everyone knows that um, heartworm is something that you need to think about every single month when it comes to your keeping your dogs protected. It's transmitted by a mosquito bite, which a lot of people don't think about because we think worms. So, you know, right, that is when we get our pets to worms that it takes care of that, but it's actually transmitted by mosquitoes. It just takes one bite. Um, and so you definitely want to keep your dog on heartworm prevention as prescribed by your veterinarian monthly. At the Jacksonville Humane Society, we take in um, upwards of 400 dogs every single year who have been infected with heartworm. And if it's not treated, it is fatal. So it's easy to prevent, um, but it's, it's more difficult to treat. So we just want to let everyone know they have lots of options to help. Um, thanks to our friends, Mosquito Joe. <laughs> we're doing fundraising this month. Uh, thanks to Mosquito Joe of the First Coast. They're helping us with our fundraiser. It costs about $250 to treat a dog like Lucy. So it's going to cost that much money to make sure that Lucy is um, cured of her heartworm. And so that's a great way people can help is by making a donation. Um, and they also can adopt. Thanks to Lori Mecca and family this month, the adoption fees have been waived for heartworm positive dogs like Lucy. They go home with a bunch of goodies. So, so many ways to get involved and just spread the worm about heartworm and how important it is for pets in our community. And look at this, this is hilarious. He's climbing up the ladder and chattering oh glass. So cute. All right, well, let's talk about Mutt Market. Mutt Market is a really fun event at the Jacksonville Humane Society. Come on, Lucy. Sorry, she's found my <laughs> okay. that. It's a really fun event at the Jacksonville Humane Society for um, dog lovers and fans of dogs and cats. So it's a big vendor fair. You can come out, you can bring your dog. We'll have a splash pad, um, a silent auction, a really big sidewalk sale. So it's a really fun family event and okay. we're doing free adoptions all day long. I wanna learn too about the event at the end of the month. Wolfstock, what is that? Yes, um, on Saturday, April 23rd, our friends at K9 Social will be hosting Whoopstock, which is a music festival all about peace, love, and pups. Aww. So it's going to be a really fun time. You can get VIP tickets. Um, K9 Social is located in Riverside, and a portion of sales will come back to benefit the Jacksonville Humane Society and help dogs just like Lucy. So we're really excited for that event as well. Well, if somebody wants to learn a little bit more about the upcoming events, or maybe they want to volunteer or donate, how can they get in touch? Um, the best thing to do is hop on our website. It is jaxhumane.org. So jax, J-A-X, humane.org. Our website was um, recently updated, so we've got all the information for you there. Um, or follow us on social media, hashtag heartworm awareness. Um, we are at jaxhumane. So just reach out to us. We would love to hear from you and get you, answer any questions, get you all the info you need. Well, thank you so much. And thank you, Lucy. Was this her TV debut? Yes, she's a yeah, star. She I think she's ready to make her debut um, in the TV world or the business world. Either and one. she's she's ready for adoption, <laughs> like you said, right? Absolutely, yes, because let's find this cutie a home. Wonderful. Well, thank you again. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.